Oh man, this helmet stinks. At first, I thought it was sweat. But now, I know it's the uh, undeniable stench of fear. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. For this week's adventure, I decided to get out of my usual rut and head out of town, find some new ruts. This adventure would take me through the town of Tombstone, Arizona, just north of the Mexico border. This town is made famous by the gunfight of the OK Corral and is known for its rustic feel and charm. Very cosmopolitan. On any given weekend here in Tombstone, you'll find cowboys, fortune tellers, and crazy street performers. But I wasn't here to see the sights of Tombstone. I was going to continue east to the Dragoon Mountains, to an area they call Cochise Stronghold, where the Indian chief Cochise and his Apache warriors faced off against the United States Cavalry. Here, there's a beautiful landscape of mountains, balancing rocks, beautiful rock formations, and some awesome trail riding. Well, we're not making it up that. I couldn't find anybody to go with me, so this was a solo trip. Now the thing about a solo ride is, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You don't have to worry about anybody complaining or worrying about anybody else's time schedules. But the problem is, while there's nobody there to complain, there's also nobody there to help you out. I had to do all the camera work myself. Getting on and off the bike to set up the camera is actually quite tiring. However, going by myself allowed me time to set up the cameras, check out the spectacular views, and do a little commentary on the things that I saw while I was out there. Like Council Rock. At the bottom of this area they call Council Rock, I would have to park my bike, as you're not allowed to ride any motor vehicles up the hill. So I would hike up so I could share the view with the rest of you. I'm standing at the entrance to an area known as Council Rock. It's hard to believe that I'm standing in a spot where one group of people was fighting for their survival and their way of life, and another group of people was fighting for a new country and to start a new way of life. These paintings on this uh, rock behind me with their red-orange paint uh, were said to have been made hundreds of years ago by the Indians who inhabited this area. Now these large rock formations form these natural caves. Probably not far-fetched to say that some of the Indians used this cave as a shelter with a natural made table and chair. Right here. After Council Rock, I decided to see how far the trail goes into the Kochi Stronghold area. Eventually it came to a trailhead where I couldn't go any further. So I turned the bike around, and on my way back, I spotted a rocky creek bed that looked tantalizing.
Now when you're riding solo, it's probably a good idea to measure the risk versus the reward. Of course, I wasn't thinking like that. I just wanted to see what I was capable of doing. Now this creek bed was pretty rocky and it gave me fits. It wasn't long before I was completely worn out and decided to get out of it. I was pretty tired and decided to head back, but I couldn't resist some of the rock formations that I saw on the sides of the trail and had to try some of them out. I found some good rock formations to ride the bike on. And this is something that I don't have a lot of experience in. One thing that sucks about action cams is you never know when the batteries die if you're riding and you can't see the light. So I got myself up here and I don't think any of it was caught on video. This is a beautiful, beautiful area. I've tried to avoid getting off the trails and I just couldn't do it. I saw this big rock formation out here and I wanted to just try and get up on top. Uh, but we do have to go back down and I do have a spare battery, so we'll switch that out. Oh man, this helmet stinks. At first, I thought it was sweat. But now, I know it's the uh, undeniable stench of fear. Whew. There we go. This bike is really big for this kind of stuff. I gotta admit. this little spot right here I decided to try it three or four times seeing if I could get up this rock ledge without putting my feet down. It took me a couple tries but eventually I was successful.
three hours after I started riding, I was pretty tired and decided I was going to pack it in. I changed my mind at the last minute and decided I'd like to challenge myself one last time by going up the first half of China Pass. Made it up to the halfway point, decided to get off the bike and take a little bikey, and then mounted it back up and decided to head home. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching my little adventure from this past weekend, and I hope you come back soon. Thanks for watching.